Capillary Fluid Exchange Capillaries are where fluids, gases, nutrients, and wastes are exchanged between the blood and body tissues by diffusion. Capillary walls have tiny pores that allow water and small solutes to pass between the pores into and out of the blood vessel. The capillary walls do not allow proteins to pass through. Two forces control movement of fluid through the capillary wall. Blood pressure, which tends to cause water to move out of the capillary, and osmotic pressure, which tends to cause water to move into the capillary. At different locations in the capillary bed, the net forces will influence the direction of fluid movement. At the arterial end, blood is under high pressure because it has just come from the heart. Blood pressure is higher than osmotic pressure of the blood. Fluid is forced out of the blood, leaving solutes behind. This increases the solute concentration of the blood as fluid moves out of the blood. At the capillary end, blood pressure is relatively low because blood has been diverted from the arterial to many capillaries. Osmotic pressure is relatively high. Solute concentration is still high because fluid has been pushed out into the tissues at the arterial end. What's left behind in the capillaries is a high concentration of solutes that includes salt, plasma proteins, and blood cells. Because osmotic pressure is higher than blood pressure, fluid moves back into the capillaries and the blood becomes dilute once again. About 90% of the fluid that was pushed out due to hydrostatic pressure at the arterial end is brought back into the blood system at the venule end through osmotic pressure. The other 10% enters the lymphatic vessels which eventually merge with the circulatory system so that the fluid is returned to general circulation. Midway along the capillary where blood pressure is lower, the two forces hydrostatic pressure and osmotic pressure essentially cancel each other out and there's no net movement of water. Solutes now diffuse according to their concentration gradients. Nutrients like glucose and amino acids and oxygen diffuse out of the capillaries and wastes like carbon dioxide diffuse into the capillaries. Red blood cells and almost all the plasma proteins remain in the capillaries. Only small substances leave. Here's another image of a capillary bed which shows how extensive the lymphatic system is, uh, which explains why it so effectively returns any tissue fluid that wasn't returned at the venous end. In this video we've looked at capillary fluid exchange.